every new Pixar film, I guess, there's a, a huge sort of leap in technology about how it looks. I wondered, mm -hmm. having directed Cars in 2006 and then coming to this, did it surprise you how far it leapt forward? Well, all the technical development of Pixar is really driven by the stories. It always starts with the stories. It's the most important thing in Pixar films. And the story of Cars 2 is very different than the first Cars. Um, it's, this is a, a spy thriller, and we take the characters all around the world, from Tokyo to Paris to Italy to London. And we, one of the things that we needed to do was to increase the, the, you know, how much we could put up on the screen. The level of complexity, because honestly, um, if we get nothing for free, we can't go on location and just shoot a can, you know, point a camera to it. You have to build everything, and so there was so much technology that we added to this to give this this look. When you see this movie, it's huge. Mm. This movie's gigantic, and we ju we couldn't have done that just even a few years ago. Mm. Uh, you mentioned the, the sort of spy thriller element. Is there any kind of particular? films that you took inspiration from? Well, I grew up with The Man From U.N.C.L.E. Mm -hmm. It was this TV show that was on in America when I was a kid, and I loved that show. It was like my favorite show of all time. And so that got put into my DNA, the love of spy thrillers. And then as, um, now I have five sons, and we love spy movies. And hands down our favorites recently are the three Bourne movies. Mm -hmm. Born Identity, Supremacy, Ultimatum. They th that really elevated the genre of the spy thriller. Mm. And, and it was so inspiring to me as a filmmaker. But I also love Hitchcock. And there's two movies, The, the, the Man Who Knew Too Much in North by Northwest, because it's where the innocent gets caught up you know, into a big conspiracy. And so that was a real inspiration for this film as well. So all those things kind of combined to, to, as we were developing the spy thriller, to have Mater, you know, the tow truck, be in the wrong place at the wrong time, and he gets caught up in this big conspiracy wrapped around a race that Lightning McQueen is in. Mm. It's a big sort of Brit element as well. Are you quite yes. a, an Anglophile? Do you enjoy Yeah, I stuff? love, I first visited London right when I graduated college in 1979, and I was so taken by London and how beautiful it is and how unique it is, and, and I never forgot you know, the vehicles here. They're so unique to London. The double-decker buses, the taxis, you know, the, 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 the police cars. Uh, you know, everything has, just has this unique quality to it and the sound and everything. And I, I really wanted with Cars 2 to bring the characters to London and to bring to life all those vehicles. And then to see a car version of these famous buildings that we all know, Big Ben, Buckingham Palace, the London Eye, Tower Bridge, Parliament, on and on. It's just... You know, it's so much fun to, to, to bring that life. Also, we have great British actors mm. all through our, our film. Of course, the great Michael Caine who plays the British spy car Finn McMissile, and he is phenomenal. We always record the dialogue before we do the animation. And so it, we get so much inspiration from the brilliant acting. He's one of the greatest actors I've ever worked with. And then we have Eddie Izzard. We have... Um, Jason Isaacs, we have the amazing Emily Mortimer who plays Holly Shiftwell, this British female spy car. Mm. You've got an amazing Hawaiian shirt collection. Yeah. Look at and that. that as Cars well. 2 impressive. Hawaiian shirt. It's yeah. a UK premiere of the Cars 2 Hawaiian shirt <laughs> as well. Mm. Yeah, we I love Hawaiian shirts. I have a huge collection. We recently counted the shirts that was 374 and with this one is 375 in active rotation. Yeah. Meaning they're, they're, they're in my closet. My wife is the one, my wife Nancy, is the one that said, you know, you should match the subject matter of your shirt to what you're doing in the day. So I started filing all my Hawaiian shirts under subject matter. Mm. So I have, you know, uh, general tropical shirts. I have um, car related shirts. I have Pixar shirts, Disney shirts. I have the section all about seasonal shirts, right? Christmas time, all the Christmas shirts come out. During baseball season, my family's big baseball fans, the San Francisco Giants shirts come out, my beloved Giants. And so, you know, it's, it's really fun. I have kind of hip 50s, you know, shirts and stuff like that. Mm. Uh, sort of looking ahead for Pixar as well. I think uh, Tom Hanks was over here recently and he said uh, Toy Story 4 was cooking, so did you have to pick up the phone and give him a quick warning or something when he said that? Um, I'm so excited about Cars 2 coming out. <laughs> I, can't, I can't wait for everybody to see Cars 2. We worked really hard on that.
Okay, that's an excellent dodge. Uh, <laughs> I, can't, I can't say anything. 